just gonna take the train. Yep, taking the train. On, let's play Mega Man Battle Number Three, white version. Welcome back, everyone. This is Rune Seiji after a huge break, and I do apologize for that. I um, uh, well, I'm gonna start by saying this is a post recording, and there was a battle there with something that I don't remember, but. We got a thousand zennies there. Anyway, so this episode. This episode um, is delayed because I... When I recorded it, I thought I was recording off the microphone, like I always do. And then I go to edit it, and it turns out that uh, it was being recorded off my computer's microphone in bread. So, the audio was complete garbage and unusable. So, uh, here I am, post-recording, after editing for, like, an hour. And, uh, been away because Final Fantasy XIV's been a thing. I've been playing lots of Final Fantasy XIV and Realm Reborn. If you're on the ferry server, keep an eye out for Natsuki Ryune, because, uh, that's me. Um, so... Yeah, we needed to go find a virus dude in the beach server or something like that. So, uh, we've got a couple new enemies here. Um, I think we saw Medgard 3, but we never saw the boomerang guy whose name escapes me off the top of my head. Um, oh, I haven't gotten the thing yet, okay. So, we're just using our good old roll strategy here. Roll over them, ha ha ha. Yeah, no. Um, and after that guy's dead and the Met Guard, then it's really all just uh, shooting this fan until he dies because he has no offensive capability whatsoever. Alright, perfect. Now, um, we. I was kind of confused there for a moment, but it turns out we need to go around the beach area a little bit more because there is more than just that one guy think is what's going on. Oh, um, I think I'm about to buy an HP memory here. I'll never understand how that custom sword thing works, and, uh, I really don't know what a godstone is, so I opted out of it. Oh, um, I had enough m money for two things, and this chip, well, if anyone remembers the second game, I think I used a lot. Maybe I used it a lot in the first game, too. Either way, I'm going to replace the not-so-useful Black Bomb with Time Bomb. And Time Bomb is pretty powerful, especially in this game. Though, I don't think there's ever really not been a time when it was useful. There was a dude in there named Ponzu. That's, that's all I saw before I was like, yeah, screw this noise. And, um, exited. And then I just run around the beach area for a little bit, uh pretty confused actually. There's uh, what's her name's um, server thing? Homepage? Yeah, I think it's called a homepage. Sounds right. Um, he, says, he says lots of lines and I just wanted him to stop talking. And that's that game dude and I, uh, I think that was the guy who sold us the aqua repellent, or other way around, the aqua attractor thing. And the fire one, for that matter. So, yeah. He was useful. And we're just gonna run around the beach area for a little bit. Eventually, we're gonna find where we need to go. Thanks, Lan. That, that was super helpful, right? But, um... I notice when I zoom around a little bit... Uh... Not him. He just says, Ah, oh, the beach area, like he always does. So... But... When you go over here, you can see... Right there. You saw him very, very quickly. That uh, purple guy. Yeah, we, we need to go fight him. So we're going to go do that. Yes, we are. And I think that's you. And of course, it is. And so we get into another battle with Deedles and Stormbox, which is... Uh, Enemies we've all seen before, but I showed it off because it's an event story battle thing, and, you know, Deedles are actually kind of difficult to deal with. But thanks to Flashman, um, we were able to reduce their numbers down to one, so don't have to worry too much about that. 
and uh, we're gonna hit them with a good old sauna wave, except totally miss because I don't, I'm not entirely sure what I was planning to do there. But uh, it obviously didn't work out too great. Um, I think in retrospect, after I activated these chips, I wanted to put the rolls in a different order. Well, actually, I guess that worked out. Except I got hit there, but that's okay. Busting levels are only really good for money, and at this point, I feel like I get so much money anyway that it's not really that big a deal. So we were able to beat that storm box, no problem. And we even get an air shot too. And I'm still kind of confused why the, uh, you know, something doesn't happen like telling me that I cleared the area or whatever. So I run around this area for quite a while until I figure out uh, as soon as the next battle pops, I believe. But down here, basically somewhere near this side, this portal, if you remember, there's something really nice there, Recover 50 Star, which I put to use right away because the Star Chips, of course, are some of the most powerful you can have. So we're going to recover... We're going to switch out the C. Why did I switch C? I think it's because G can be changed with Guts Man. That's why I went with that. So with that done, we can uh, fight this guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> and for some reason he's singing about being in the WWW. And a new enemy, Slimy. Along with a not so new enemy, Fishy. Who dies in one attack, ironically, to dash attack. Now, Slimy is almost exactly like his cousin, um, the blue one, Metagel or something like that. Or no, that's the chip's name. Well, whatever he is, he, he goes around and he turns the panels blue and I'm not entirely sure what that does. So, we just kind of kill him before he can entrap us in our area, I guess. I'm sure that would be more annoying if, like, he started getting into the back row and hopped on your face for one thing and another thing is if there were like sorties along with him that could that could be annoying because then they could get in range of you really easily now match tells us that uh there's been more dudes showing up in the scilab area so of course where do we gotta go but the scilab area so we're going to run around for a bit to uh, hmm. Should have edited this out, but uh, I'm not too used to post editing yet. But I'm trying to, you know, be super upbeat and awesome with my commentary, at least. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Switch, seriously. What are you doing? Alright. Now, after that battle, I think, or maybe it was the battle afterwards, we were able to get something new for our aqua gut style which i decided to keep advancing because i don't know how far it goes and um it's called the break buster or something like that now what this does is it pierces guards what does that do you may ask and why does it take up so much bloody space well it's um ridiculously powerful actually and we're just gonna fast forward through me trying to figure out where in the world I should put this thing and how I should rearrange everything. So, uh, we're gonna do that. I, of course, like to, um, prioritize speed and attack and stuff, but I also realized that there's no room for any attack chips, and that made me sad. Ooh, excuse me. Um, getting a little tired for some reason. It's only 1.30, so I don't know why. Anyway, we can put an attack one there at least, and then uh, just start putting things at random, except I can't put that there, so I don't know why I was attempting that. And that should just about do it, I think. You can uh, run it now. There's nowhere, there's nothing else to put in. And with that done, he feels great. We didn't screw up the thing. And now we have Breakbuster. What does that do, you may ask? Well. Let's get into a battle really quick, and I can show it off, I think. At least that's the reason I believe I'm still leaving this in. Hey, what's up? Um, go to Silo. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know why you're standing there. I guess I was saying something. 
something, but I'm not entirely sure what. So somewhere in the side lab area are a few more of those WW dudes. And I'm just gonna fast forward through all that because no one needs to know about that. Now in this area on the top section, which you get to from... I think it's when you go all the way around, or maybe it's from the train station. I don't remember, but I've been here before countless times, so... By now, if you can't find your way to this place, um, probably shouldn't be playing. He's pretty darn scary, he says. Yep. Um, you're gonna... Okay, I guess I was doing something or something. Hmm. When I pop, it uh, like maxes out the volume. That's kind of interesting. I really should get a pop filter sometime. Okay, that's enough of that. Alright, so with him, there are sorties and stormbox. Stormbox actually kind of helps with sorties, so I'm not sure why it's there. But we're going to use a dash attack plus 10 to start out to weaken down this uh, water guy. And I can't show off Breakbuster yet. Oh, what a disappointment. Oh, well. We've also got uh, Water Shot, so I can just charge up a couple times, even if he area grabs. But I gotta hit him before he slashes me to death. And then we just um, use roll because it gives me healing, I think. That was the only reason I did that. So After that, though, it's as easy as just shooting that thing a million times over until eventually it dies. There we go. Easy enough. You are, are you? Oh, well, that's, that's not good. But he explodes in very... Fantastic fashion, fashion, and well, they really didn't, did they? Then again, they were all over the place. So they, at the very least, had that. And uh, some of the Assassins Guild showed up, and they want to wreck us. And uh, we might be in trouble if I have to fight like nine viruses at the same time. But what is this? matches proving without a shadow of a doubt that he is a good guy by uh, coming in and just kind of um, well also flam man he looks different from the first time we saw him right like way different I feel like that's the case because if he's flame man like from the first game he, he doesn't look like that in fact that looks kind of like a Digimon if anything but he sets everybody on fire, they burn to death, and then they explode. And we are saved! Yay! What do you mean, nice to meet you? Didn't you haven't you met him before? Also, I like his response. Yeah. I mean, it couldn't have been a ploy. <laughs> uh... His Navi is powerful. I have a feeling, uh, well, I mean, maybe he'll work with us and we can work together to stomp out the WWW once and for all. Will that really be the case? And, well, what else is in store for Monsieur Lan? Find out next time on Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network 3 White Version. Where we have to go and uh, see what's up with this anonymous mail. Until then, later guys.